Now, political analyst Ibrahim Harvey says that South Africa is facing an unprecedented socio-economic crisis in the country and in the ANC, and that provides opposition parties with hope ahead of the national and provincial elections next year. Let's chat to him about his latest column, a political analyst Ibrahim Harvey joining us. Thank you so much. If I mean, what, what you're saying is the opposition uh, should do well simply because the, the ANC is, is failing so badly? Is, is that fair enough? Yeah, well, you know, uh, this election that's going to take place next year, you know, honestly, I don't think a prior election has taken place at a particular, such a crisis-ridden conjuncture as uh, as is at the moment, you know, everything is, is not just electricity, water, sanitation, sewerage, you can see cost of living, everything, never has people been suffering as much as they are today. The, the thrust of the column was to say because of the dire situation and the crisis-ridden conflicts we're having in the society at this moment throughout the country, opposition parties, in particular the DA and EFF, I would say, you know, now is probably in the run up to the election, the best time to position themselves to take advantage of this unmitigated worst crisis that the ANC and the country since 1994 finds itself in. That has been the thrust of the thing. Mm. And I think really uh, it's high time that we look beyond race. This is the problem. I think you can see what race, a focus on race has brought us to. Black majority rule of the ANC, look what it has brought us, look where we are today. So I am not saying that the DA is without faults, problems, weaknesses, failures, but I'm saying the DA in particular and the EFF, no, no, nowhere before has there been such a, a moment as this where the opposition parties could rally their forces yeah. and take advantage of this crisis in next year's election. That okay, was Mr. Harvey, I, I want to talk to you about the opposition, but you say that the ANC support base is, is the one really experiencing the worst of times. Do you think that will change uh, traditional patterns where people have either voted ANC out of loyalty or in some cases stayed away, but there, there seems to be a distaste for then going out to vote for an opposition party? Well, you know, that's the difficulty. You can't predict what's going to happen next year. But I think we've got enough information to say without any doubt whatsoever that uh, no doubt, to my mind at least, the ANC is going to lose, I think, I think next year's election. And I'm trying to say because of the drop in support below 50%, I believe, in fact, even if, if not, 40 to 45, that's the extent of the revulsion towards the ANC and what is, we, we are we really in serious trouble on every conceivable front. Never has there been a more propitious moment, if I can put it that way, for the opposition parties to take advantage and to do very well in next year's election. The question of what you're raising is, I think that if you look at 2016 and 2021 local, I think the slowly, steadily, if not rapidly, in fact, the question of race and the question of blind loyalty to the ANC is disappearing from the scene. And you can see in the powerhouse of production and nerve center of the economy, the ANC failed 2016 and 2021. Taking all that into account and the dire worst crisis we've ever been in right now, I am arguing that, in fact, maybe it's, it's the right time. It's the right time to see a con reconfiguration of power in this country. Yeah. Where the ANC... The, the yeah. ANC did decline in local government elections. You mentioned that, but so did the DA. The EFF has been pretty stagnant. And you've got these two opposition parties that are poles apart. Uh, do you think that either one can consolidate. I mean, the DA, the DA is calling for some unity from, from the smaller parties. Uh, join us, they're saying. The other alternative, the EFF, may go into a coalition with the ANC. How could it possibly play out? Well, you know, it's very difficult to say. A whole lot of things are happening. You can see Ace Magashule moving towards uh, this new formation now with uh, Maimani, uh, uh, Jimmy Maimani 
uh, joining up with the uh, African radical transformation, moving towards the EFF. There's a whole lot of things, uh, Francis, happening at the moment. And in fact, you can see uh, Malema calling for Zuma and for Egas Esmagashule to join the EFF. So the EFF, I think even more than the, uh, the ANC, because the EFF it comes from the ANC, is very mindful that right now, I think they're pulling out all the stops to get Ace Magashule, to, 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 you've already have Jimmy Mani there. And in fact, I think they're going to pull in Karl Niaus and the supporters that he have to build up a unified position in, uh, in next year's election. And I, I really think uh, the, the EFF, no matter what we have to say that is justifiable criticism, the EFF is well placed to go well below, be, beyond the, the 10, 11, 12 percent that it has fetched before in elections. I really think the EFF, you're looking at 15 to 20 percent of the vote. And the, the DA itself is going to do very well, I think. I think they're going to take a lot of this traditional support that went to the ANC. You must remember 2019, they had 57 uh, percent. I, I, you, you're not going to see that at all. You're going to see a considerable reduction below 50 percent. And that loss of support will go towards the DA and the EFF. Who will get a bigger share, a percentage of the decline of support for the ANC is difficult to, 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 to say, because I think both the DA and EFF is pulling out all the stops to take advantage of this biggest crisis the ANC and the country has been in for all next right. year's election. All right. Thank you so much, uh, political analyst Ibrahim Harvey. As always, great to have you with us.